I'd say 20 years ago when when we started to th sing these things like Semiramide, etc. Uh, the, the performances of the men seem to be weaker than the women, but now we have the men that can sing the parts too. And interestingly enough, mostly all of them come from America. And among them is Rockwell Blake. Oh, I took the pains to learn how to do it. People ask me why I like to do this makeup. I said, because if I do a really bad job and I make a big flop, I can get out of the theater without anybody recognizing me. So far, I've been lucky. I haven't flopped. The New Yorker music critic called him the wide-ranging, high-flying, heroic coloratura tenor we have been waiting for. I can't say that everything that I, that everything I do is a gift, because the voice, that, I mean, the, the instrument itself, is it has a cer has certain qualities and had certain qualities when I when I started singing. I mean, when I was a young kid, but it had possibilities. And what I do with it, I would say a good, a very large portion of what I do with it is technique. It's not so much uh, laid on the natural talents. It's, there's, a, there's a natural voice there, but it, it took a lot of uh, culturaliza uh, culturalization to uh, make it do what I wanted it to do. Rockwell Blake has been singing at the Rossini Festival for the last five years, and they have asked him back for the next five. <laughs> He is hooked on Rossini. The truth is, if my, if, if, uh, my, um, if my motivation was to make a, make a million dollars, I wouldn't be singing Rossini. I'd be singing Puccini or something like that. But that's not what I want to do. It's, it's not, not my interest. My interest is to sing Rossini, is to sing music that I love. Good, good, good. Make sense? Good. Blake made his Metropolitan Opera debut in 1981. Since then, he has performed in most of the major opera houses in the United States and Europe. Blake's two and a half octave range, vocal agility and musicianship keep him in constant demand. Last fall, he made his recital debut in Paris. Wasn't the bridge covered in there last year? What bridge? The other bridge. The... Yeah. His wife, Deborah, a former voice student, travels with him. Beautiful dreamer out on the sea. Mermaids are chanting the wild laurelie. <laughs> if I can remember the words, we'll be just fine. <laughs> the idea of losing my voice, my life doesn't, uh, the way I run my life, it doesn't allow me to have these kinds of na nightmares. My nightmares are, are, are arriving on the stage and not knowing what it is I'm supposed to sing. <laughs> the, those sorts of things you can run into. And uh, so I can't say that losing my voice is, my li is a nightmare. So it's a lot of sweat, but it's mostly on the, on the brow. Generally, the sweat happens at home. And uh, the preparation that you have to do and study. The, the studying and the technical study that of, of preparing the voice to have it ready is, uh, for me, 
was real hard. Exercise all the time and this, the, making the voice do certain things. consider it home. I grew up here. I started out here. And so I, uh, I have to say that I have a lot of roots here. Blake will return to the Metropolitan Opera this October. He came back to Plattsburgh for a brief break. Yeah. Is it done? Break it. And a special recital for his hometown friends. If I were to, to give anything less than the best I could do, the people here would be in, would be cheated in a, in a very bad way. It's not just a, uh, a presentation of music; it's a presen presentation of the form. Because the recital form here is, you know, when was the last time there was a recital in Flatsburg? I have no idea. How long ago? So it has to be all of it enjoyable. You have to look at it well. It can't it can't bore you on any level. Otherwise, the form itself will die. And they'll say, well, yeah, that was fun. I won't come back. <laughs> This is what is important about singing. This is the art of singing. It's not just a, a job. It's not just a, a passionate scream. It's, it is a very fine and, and, uh, and uh, well-considered art and uh, craft, as well as a ballet is. And uh, that, that, for me, is the greatest sweat.